Yeah, you I, I, I just two comments on that. To my mind, uh, you know, it, it, it's like a theoretical <coughs> discussion in some sense. If you don't have cap on liability, you would not have a nuclear power plant which will ever give a right, rise to an incident where you will require the cap on liability. There, are, there is no power project which is going to come up, a nuclear power project, if there is no cap on liability. And that, let, let's just be you know, clear about it. We probably have one or two nuclear power projects. A couple of countries may help India in doing that. But uh, certainly US won't. And certainly you won't even have Indian developers getting into this unless and until you have a cap on liability. And to my mind, uh, the, way to, the, the way to address this is that you need to have an uh, efficient and, and system of licensing and monitoring so as to prevent from any of these accidents from happening. God forbid, if they were to happen, you need to have a cap on liability. Otherwise, you won't see any nuclear power projects. And that's where it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. And I don't think so. It's a, it's a US issue or it's, it's appeasing the US in any manner. Because uh, having Bhopal as a case, as an example, nobody is going to come to India in that <coughs> backdrop. And there is nobody in the world who's going to finance these projects with unlimited liability. That's that's <coughs> absolutely. I think I agree with you. It's really not a U.S. issue. It's a corporate issue. It's a corporate world issue. Any company, any company which does business as the way the business needs to be done, would be concerned about uncapped liability, and particularly it's a tosh like tortious liability, and you can't really get your arms around, and therefore you need a predictability regime. And I think what Jaffe rightly said is that you need a regime. You need to have a right regulatory regime, right licensing regime, so that the best among the best can participate. <coughs> and and then if the worst happens, like what Bob said, then the world has to get together. It's a it's an accident in the world. We have to all get together and fix that problem. And uh, because I think if you look at the EPC contract, I think the same thing. Actually, if you look at a power station in India, and if you say, okay, if you don't generate power then power need power adds to the GDP, and you have to pay all liabilities uh, which uh, the country uses on account of that. You can still have a power, but the tariff would be exorbitant. Same thing. I think you don't have uncapped liabilities. Somebody can buy an insurance. I think that's not a big issue. Uh, it's different that the insurer can go bankrupt after it pays on. But but the key question is that in every business activity, you need to have a reasonableness. You have to have a liability, you have to have a liability cap, so that the business actually, the cost does not become prohibitive and people stop taking uh, this business seriously. Mr. Shivasan, you would like to comment on this? No, I think on liability, a lot of things have been told. Um, just a few words on privatization. Um, Bob mentioned about the accident. Um, situation, um, the global reach, not not yet geographically, but public acceptance wise of any accident that take place. Uh, and then there are u uniqueness of this uh, uh, industry in the form of nuclear security, non-proliferation, and also the bilateral agreements with each country and the national commitments which India entered into. So it will take a while for a private company to get trained and make sure <coughs> they stick to all these things and get the confidence of the public, the regulatory body and the nation at large. So what probably would happen is uh, to have a DAE in NPCL uh, hold hand to hand with the private people in, uh, they, with a minority share and then get trained in all these aspects. There are at least 25 competencies required to run a nuclear power plant starting from siting to decommissioning. And then uh, <coughs> you we will request uh, the Department of Atomic Energy being the mother institution to train the private people in each of these competencies so that uh, in about seven or eight years you would have the competency which now is possessed by the Nuclear Power Corporation uh, so that we can have uh, full privatization. The question on privatization is uh, not whether but how and when. So if it's just not possible to meet 50,000 megawatts uh, with just uh, public funding. Uh, uh, but it has to be done in a stepwise, cautious manner so that it is sustained and universal.
I think it's very interesting, uh, but on the nuclear liability, just going back there, uh, just to give you a little bit of background, because I'm an Indian lawyer, uh, that uh, after the Bhopal gas, uh, the Supreme Court came up and talked about the liability in incidents like that. And uh, they came up with a concept of absolute liability, and it does not have an exception. Normally, strict liabilities have exceptions, like sabotage and act of God. It does not have. And what it did, did was, and I think that is what obviously makes everybody a little nervous, is that they said that an enterprise which gets into business of hazardous thing is absolutely liable. And then they, they expanded the definition of enterprise, and in the Union Carbide case, they said that it actually includes the parent. So they, they basically looked through the SPV which was doing business in India and said that actually though the SPV was a limited liability company, that they can actually go to the parent. And that is a little bit, because this is really, the, the, the regime is not predictable, and it's a little bit of a judge-made law, and it will not be surprising tomorrow that in case of a nuclear accident, that the Supreme Court can look at it and say that the enterprise really includes the suppliers, contractor, design consultant, and I think there is a requirement that a regime which is predictable, which can actually put things to rest and people understand what risk are they taking and what is the cost of the risk is put in place. 